I made my fans make extremely unethical torture devices, and I tested them out today. This is on People Playgrounds, YouTube. This is not real. Here we are on the form I had you guys fill out. Basically, all this form said is make a torture device in People Playground, and that's the entire video. Not much explaining to do. I did get a lot of responses, so I'm using a random number generator to give everybody a chance. So let's get right to it. Generating 86. The torture device. You stick a knife on the end of a moving part of a piston and stick it up the crack. I have no ideas and just want to be in a video. Name. Manchipe? Probably Manchipe. Manship. 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 Okay, I'm lining up the crack with the knife. Here we go. Okay, well, that was stupid. I don't even know what. Hold on. Wow, I am stupid. Jesus. I put a brick wall here. This should work. Here we go. Or it'll just crush them. I mean, that works too, I guess. And the brick. <laughs> this, this just went awful. This was awful. I rate this like a 2 out of 10. Maybe because I set it up wrong. But this is, it sucks. This sucks. This is definitely my fault, but it sucked. Generating 299. This torture device is a device that slowly pushes blades into the person, starting with the legs, then the upper body, then the torso. Not the head, though. They are meant to bleed out slowly. Name, toaster. Let's see if this works. There we go. That's what we're talking about. See, that's a functioning thing right there. Oh, yeah. A good few stabs. Let me push him back into it. Oh, it's gonna go in his head. Move your head up. Move your head up. There we go. See? He didn't get stabbed in the head. Oh, now he's dead. That was actually a good device right there. I give that like a 6 out of 10 because that probably hurt pretty bad. He did die pretty quick though, which is a bit unfortunate. Generating 126. The torture device. Someone's legs are tied to a small, slowly spinning wheel placed in front of them. As the wheel spins, the person's legs bend backwards and eventually break. The same could be done for the arms. Note, the torso should be held in place so he isn't just dragged around. Name, the silly tinkerer. You are a very silly tinkerer. Okay, so I've connected all of this dude's hands and feet to this wheel thing, and I'm gonna turn the wheel on, and it should uh, rip them all off or break them or something. Okay, so I just woke him up now just so he could, uh, you know, experience this correctly. Oh, yep, uh, that actually ripped his entire body apart, not just his arms and legs. That's interesting. That's not what I expected to happen, actually. Uh, he is now just a head and a little bit of torso. I don't even know what you call this region chest. Uh, yeah, so he died actually pretty quickly there. I'm gonna give this, like, a 3 out of 10, because it actually was pretty cool. But he died in, like, I don't know, 3 seconds. Could this work as, like, a sucker punch thing? Yes, yes, I can. I'll, I'll bump it up to a 4 out of 10 just because of that. Generate 177. The torture device. Industrial generator attached with a cable to a jukebox. The person is in front of it. Name. Infernus Doge. Okay, so jukebox. There we go. Play some tunes while we wait. I'll stop my background music and I'll just play this. Industrial generator. Let's power that up. So what happens when I connect it with the wire? Oh, it just gets really loud. That's what it does. Remember when I was telling you it was a banger? Now listen to it a little bit louder. Let me turn my audio up real quick just so we can get the full effect. <laughs> Oh, the jukebox just broke. Hold on, let me repair it. Um, number three. Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, no matter where I go, I can hear it. This is stupid. Is this supposed to do something? What are- why- what was the point of this? This is only- I got a new- Oh, that's- oh my god, he just blew his head out wide open. I got a new dude because it wasn't working before, but I guess this dude's head was weaker or something because it just blew off. Classic banger here. Let's see what happens to this dude's head. Oh, it's- it's just- it's just too good. Eight out of ten. Generating 283. The torture device. Make a windsurf with a small slant. Then inject the person with acid and then inject with life. Repeat until you fail to inject the life syringe. Name, toaster. Here's an acid syringe. I'm going to stick it in him. Here's a life syringe. I'm also going to stick it in him. Now I'm going to back up a little bit and see if I can stick the life syringe in him again. Which I completely... I missed on the second try. Okay, hold on. Give me another chance here. Okay, we're going to back up right here and... Oh, see that? Perfect shot. Back to life. Let's back up a little bit further. Back here. Oh my god, that was... Okay, hold on. Give me a third chance. Third strike here. Okay, well, he's dead. I just missed three times. Well, that sucks, dude. I'll give this, like, a 3 out of 10. Generating 535. The torture device. A knife tied to an electrical system. The knife will dangle over the person's head. It drops and stabs them in the head. Then you turn the electrical device on, and it shocks them right after having the knife in the head. Name Kit Kat. See, my concern is if you drop a knife on someone's head, they just kind of die. So I'm not quite sure how to fix that problem because the electrical thing isn't even hooked up and they still already died. So instead, what I'll do is I'll surgically insert the knife, like, about right there in a non-fatal spot. I will then get our handy-dandy industrial generator and hook it up to the knife as so and as you can see he is dead i give this one like a good solid five out of ten he died really quick but i like the idea 
Generating 25. The torture device. A chair of fire that the person will be tied to the chair and will not be able to get up while his family friends see it. After that, you'll throw him in a lake so they will not find his body. Your name, your name. Okay, so here's our man in the chair. Here's his family and friends. Let's ignite the chair. All right, so that works as intended. And then after he dies, we have to throw him in this lake that's conveniently right here. He's gonna light his fa- He just lit his family on fire. Uh, well, that's interesting. He just lit his entire family on fire. That wasn't part of the plan, but I mean, we'll go with it. Okay, he's almost dead. We're gonna have to throw his whole family into the lake now, but whatever. And, okay, he's dead, so let's... Oh, there goes part of the chair. Uh, there he goes. Now we just gotta wait for his family to get done burning and charring, and then we'll throw him in there, too. Dude, this family takes forever to burn. My God, let's get to... Let's move it on. Jesus. This person's dead. Let's throw them in. Oh, there we go. They all died at once, pretty much, except for this dude right here. On, dude. I don't have all day. And bye bye I give that one, like, a 9 out of 10, because it was an unexpected whole family event right there. Generating 565. The torture device. Inject petrol into somebody, then light them on fire with the flamethrower. Name, Viper. Okay, so in this tank, I have nitroglycerin, which is close enough to petrol. Let's, uh, let's inject it into this guy now. He's, uh, he looks like he's gonna have a great time right now. So, let's get the flamethrower out, buddy. Okay, nothing's actually happening. Uh, he's, he's dead. I was expecting there to be an explosion, maybe, of sorts. Okay, so I actually got quite a bit of nitroglycerin pumping into this dude right now. I got a bunch of tanks. It should be working out pretty good right now but nothing's happening unfortunately so that works instead i'm giving this like a five out of ten Generating 273. The torture device. Do a Doctor Strange on him. Force him to fight a god and revive them each time they die. Your name. Limited edition Half-Life fan. I got Life Strange on standby. Oh, okay, he's dead. Come back to life. You got him, bud. He isn't actually not back alive. Whoops. Hold on. Come on. Get back in the battle there, dude. Get back in there. He's uh not really doing too great right now. Oh, he's dead again. Come back. All right, you got it. Round three. Oh, he's actually running away. No, 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 no. Turn around and fight. Oh, he died again. Come on, round four, buddy. Come on, get back in there. He seems like he wants to run away really bad, which is not possible. You have half your body left currently, which is not great for you. All right, come on. You got it, dude. I also had to spawn a new god because the other one was not fighting him. Are they going to fight through a wall? These two gods can duke it out, and this dude's just going to flop around, I guess. That's how this will work. This dude's just not even part of the battle anymore. He's being used as, like, a floor mat. Oh my god! I don't even know what just happened. Uh, he's dead, unsurprisingly. He's gonna land in the water. That's kind of cool. I give that like an 8 out of 10. I mean, that was crazy. Generating 348. The torture device. A flood of frogs. Name. I don't know Sterling. It's been too long since I've had a frog submission. Here's one. And here's a bunch more. All right. So yeah, that's that submission. He's uh, dead. Obviously, this one gets a 10 out of 10. Generating 347. The torture device. Hang him up and then have two people beat his body. Your name, Meat Beater, but in emoji form. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please count me your ideas because I do do your ideas and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. This did not work out how I wanted it to. How did you guys get stuck inside of each other? This did not work out at all. I give this like a 3 out of 10. Somehow that dude died. I don't even know how, but whatever.